Are you kidding me? Dear YouTube, as a loyal Yugi tuber for the last eight months, I demand an explanation. I am Pen J God, and I promote the well-being of my wallet and people go by my playmat. I did nothing wrong, and you don't let me post a 10-second intro of the greatest intro known to mankind with Asuka, Kirin, Bambuku, Iris, Joker, Monkey Board, Venna. It's been a long. Just because of a 10-second copyright? And unless you want me flooding the internet with my singing uh, to sing over that myself, then bring it back. So if you're an OG supporter of this channel, drop a like right now if you remember that intro. If this video gets 500 likes, I am going to remake that intro. YouTube won't let me post it with the original like See You Again song. I'll do the singing. I'll do the singing. Bring back, bring back the greatest intro of all time. Drop a like right now. Today's video is gonna be something else entirely. Something else that you've been asking, you guys have been asking for since day one. Speaking of old school intros. Enough! You are all of you beneath me. I am a god, you dull creature. And I will not be bullied by that. Oh, sister, we suck. Yeah, I know, we do. Don't mess with the best. Oh, uh, ninety dollars. I just got wrecked by a one dollar chronograph. <sighs> good times, man. Good times. That was my very first destroy hand trap video eight months ago. Time flies. Eight months ago, I had zero subscribers. Now I have fifteen thousand. I love you guys. I absolutely love you guys. Today's video, all right, as you saw by the title, is gonna be me destroying hand traps. And let me show you. What inspired me to make this video for today? So I'm scrolling through my YouTube comments and I see one that catches my eye. Typically zero IQ comments catch my eye. 1000 IQ comments don't because that's just normal to me. But when I see a zero IQ one, I just think, what? And here's the comment from someone called Joe San. He says, nice, too fragile to hand traps indeed, but godly boards. Time to fight 0 IQ with 5000 IQ. This argument is gonna go well. So being the intellectual uh, that I am, I decided to respond as an intellectual would. So my response to Josan, Josan, that is such a generalization. Normal pens die to hand traps. This virgin does not get any girl. Oh, sh uh, this virgin does not. Uh, I guess I was thinking the other thing. Because obviously that's what you are. And then another intellectual responds back. Proof uh, it. And that is exactly what I'm going to do in today's video, guys. I'm going to proof uh. We're going to be doing five random hands in a row. And I'm going to proof uh, that this is the best deck in the game. And it obliterates and blitzkrieg's through hand traps. And lastly, before we get into it, guys, don't forget to get my beautiful trip gaming plan in the description below. I love you guys. Thank you for the support. Don't forget to subscribe. Let's get straight into the video. So you guys are going to see now in three times the speed just how easy it is to play through hand traps. We're going to play through those four that you saw over there. I'm going to try and keep up with the speed. It's times three. We have five test hands to go. First one is Ash. We're going to be playing one by one each of those hand traps. Valor is Impermanence or Valor. And Crow is Crow or Bell. Look at this hand over here. This hand is so bad versus Ash. Why? Because you're going to lose two cards here. You want a pen call off the bat because that's how we play around Joel. You need the pen call search. Ash, unfortunate. So now, like, you're going to see as it goes on. I'm not going to explain every little bit of it. But it, it's just incredible how it plays through Ash. We lost we lost two cards there. Pendulums cannot play with three cards. Everyone knows this. Pendulums cannot play with three cards. But here we are. We keep playing there little by little. You just got to play smart. Now I'm going to do some big brain plays. Look very closely here. How are we going to get our scales? If you look closer, we're gonna, we can't get lucky and hope we draw, right? We can't do that. So we're going to do here is a big brain play that you can only do in Orca's Pendulums. You can only do this in Orca's Pendulums. Pay close attention here. This is where the big brains happen. Electrum. We're going to send a Cerberus. We're going to pop the Ravine to get Cerberus so you get a free draw. That's how you get a free draw. Play Ravine. Get Jackal. Hope to draw a high scale. But, hey, guess what? We don't. We end up with what? Scale 0, scale 4, scale 3. I am turning this hand into 5 negates. What I'm about to show you, if this doesn't prove to you right now that if you ever have any pendulum question 
or if you're ever looking for anything pendulum related, you come to my channel, I don't know what on earth will. All right, on to the next part. Get ready for this, pay close attention. I'm turning this hand into five negates. We already used Electrum's effect. I'm turning it into five negates. Pay close attention, it's gonna go fast, all right? I am going to go into the Orcas combo before my pendulum summon. That is what happens when you get hand trapped and it's gonna save my entire turn. Watch and learn. As you see here, I'm simply gonna, I could summon Time Gazer there and pendulum summon that, but screw that. I got the combo by doing that or I could just summon Cerberus, Jackal. We got our Nightmare play, get rid of the zero and boom. Now we're gonna do the whole whole Orcas play. We're gonna end on two. We're gonna get two fog blades from this, so two free negates when most people would have got zero. And we're gonna draw two. The rest of the deck is all scales. All you, and Abductor's gonna get a spell card. So either you draw a spell from those two or draw a high scale. Guaranteed, you're drawing a high scale. No doubt about it. You're drawing two, and all you need is a spell card or a high scale because Abductor will search a spell because Orcas Ranger gives it a spell. So we're going to do our whole combo. We're going to get rid of all the traps. We're gonna, we're, we thinned out the whole deck. They're just scales left. We're drawing scales without a doubt. So what are we going to draw here? Orchestrator return. Draw two. What happens? What happens? I'm literally the pen god, as I said. Boom. Pen two. You can only special darks for the rest of the turn. No problem, bro. That's what we did. Summon a jackal. Dark worm. Heart horror by the effect of by the effect of the world wand card. Boom. Five negates. Nightmare got two, Jackal got one, because Abductor got two counters, two fog blades, five negates right there, where most people would have got zero. Remember that the hand? That hand was a scale three, a scale four, scale zero, and Electrum already uses the effect. Ended up on that board. Five negates. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to play Pendulum Orcus yet? Have I made you a believer of the Pen Guard yet? You guys gotta listen to me when it comes to pendulums, alright? That was through an ash, through an ash on our pen call. Uh, alright, next. Crow it, or Bell, Crow slash Bell, whatever it may be. People are see is a lot of is in play big time because Salaman great. So Crow slash Bell, our shrine now cannot be activated. No problem. Same thing as Ash. They would Ash the shrine. How to also play through Ash here? Why? How? By playing twenty one turbo cards. That's how. Like it's a twenty one turbo cards. You gotta play every one possible. That's what I've been telling you guys. That's how to play around hand traps. You guys cry about pendulums losing to hand traps. It's because you play shit stuff like three Black Fangs and three Dragon Pits. like, And you don't play actual good cards or turbo cards. You have to play as many turbo cards as possible. And that's how you play around the hand traps. You guys saw it there. Like, the first one was the most impressive. Like, the way I turned the, the zero negate hand into five negates. That's got to turn anyone to a believer. Now, this is just normal. This is normal when you're playing the best deck. Like, you just literally blitzkrieg through the hand traps. Like, what's an Ash going to do? Like, what's a Veiler going to do? Literally nothing. As long as you play as uh, many turbo cards to draw to have as many as possible, you're good. Ash literally does nothing after that. So the Bell does nothing, Valor does nothing, Impermanence does nothing, Ogre does nothing. I'm gonna show you guys at the end. We played through Ogre twice just to show you guys to make you guys real believers. And they're just gonna keep going there. Like the first one was five negates, and this one like we're gonna do the exact same thing. Like pay look 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 like pay close attention through a Bell O Bell Crow Ash because Ash would get rid of the Shrine as well, right? We're going to end up the whole normal combo here. We're going to end up on a Boral Savage Dragon as well. Like, two Omni Negates. Like, it's incredible. Like, that's a Savage Dragon just proxying right there. Going to get Unicorn. It's going to simply go into the combo. So, if this is too fast for you guys, go check out my three random test hands where I go to two times the speed. This is three times the speed, so I go through more test hands with you guys. I could do... These are all in a row, too. There's no breaks. There's no breaks. There are five test hands in a row through hand traps in a row. Like, it's actually incredible. And as you see there, we're going to simply do our combo, and it's amazing. Like, it's truly amazing. Jackal's going to get counters there. We're going to have follow-ups for next turn. The best follow-ups, Pen Call and Destrudo. The best follow-ups. Like, this deck's nothing short of absolutely incredibleness. Incredibleness. That's a word, all right? Triff English. So, like, what are you going to do? Like, you got Orcas for follow-ups. You got Pen Call, Dragon Envy. That's another one in the books. Two games in a row where we destroy hand traps. The first one, most impressive, obviously, you turn, no, I turned zero negates to five negates. This one, we also got five negates with amazing follows for both. Rusty's coming back every turn. Orcas is coming back every turn. This one, test hand number three, we're dealing with Valor. So we look at our hand. Hey, what do you know? Two dead cards. 
bricks, right? Fog Blade and uh, Orcus Nightmare. That's horrible. Like, they're horrible. You, you hate drawing them. You don't want to see them. You even drew two discard outlets. That's fine. Whatever. You're going to keep playing your, your thing. Like, there's nothing you could do here. It's like, Baylor is going to hurt this hand because you drew two bricks, right? You drew Orcus Nightmare and you drew Fog Blade. If you notice, I didn't discard any of them. I don't. I want to see them. Fog Blade's a free negate. That's sick. Makes it even easier to go into it. Now, I wouldn't wish Fog Blade was any other card because they're going to search it anyways, but whatever. That's fine. So this is the most brick you're ever going to see uh, Pendulums ever have, like my Pendulums. The, the most brick possible is four negates, and we're going to end up with four negates here. That is, or like, it's the most brick you'll ever have with the deck. Now, uh, Baylor there would have stopped most turns. If that was just two Black Fangs instead of an Orcus Nightmare and a Fog Blade, most people would have ended there. This is the worst hand we're going to have out of all five test hands. And you know what? That's fine. Uh, to make it quicker, I'm taking all the cards we're going to search in the combo. We're still going to end on four Negates. Like, it's not like, like Baylor Pass, you know what I mean? You're still ending on four Negates here. Nightmare being two, because uh, Book of Moon in this format is better than Negate. Uh, much better than Negate. It clears out my great boards like crazy. One Evos from Nightmare is all you need. But if you look at this, it's not all you have. You have a... You're going to be drawing two uh, from Orchestrated Return. You're going to have Orcas for next turn, and you're going to have the best follows. A Pen Call for next turn, and a Dragon Shark for next turn for Yazi. And you got four negates with Summon Sork on field, and Rusty summoning itself back for free Link materials, and full scales. It's not just the negates you're putting up. You're putting up the follow-up, which is all the Orcas. You're putting up the Rusty giving you Link Zones, and you got two free draws, which gave you Pen Call and Shrine. It's not just the amazing negates you're putting up. It's the follow-up. It's the offense as well. Now we're playing through Gold Soaker, everyone's favorite card. Look at this. Dragon Ravine. So what we're doing here, Dragon Ravine cucks us big time because you lose two cards. You pen Pendulums cannot play with three cards. So what we're going to do here, we're going to show you what happens if you Gold Soaker or Dragon Ravine, which absolutely obliterates you because you lose th uh, two cards. Pendulums can't play with three cards. So we're going to show you this one where you Ogre the Dragon Ravine, which, which is the right play. And the next duel we're going to do, which is a fifth duel, a uh, fifth test hand one, is going to be Ogre uh, on the Electrum. So you're going to see both ver versions of it. Well, you Ogre a Ravine, which you lose a bunch of card a plus from it, and you Ogre an Electrum. We're going to do as much as we can here. Or it, it sucks. We're not going to be able to do our whole combo, obviously, because uh, you don't have much cards in hand, and this needs you to have one card in hand. So regardless of what we drew from Electrum there, we're going to end up discarding it anyways. So Electrum's gonna we, we get a harmonize. Doesn't matter. We're gonna what we're gonna harmonize there to put in skill anyways. Like it's obviously gonna be a little subpar because you need all the cards in hand, right? But Ghost Ogre's Ghost Ogre. Uh it was correct to Ghost Ogre the Ravine, because you're uh, at three cards. But normal pendulums here would have ended on simply uh you would have penned the harmo, you would have got two negates out of this. You would have got Jackal and a rank four. You would have got Jackal and Dweller at best. Uh so what does my Pendulums do? It ends on Jackal, Dog Bull, Fog Blade, two cards in hand, Rusty giving you zones next turn, and the normal ones give you zero offense, zero follow-up. When they clear your, your interruptions, you lose. When they attack over the Dweller and the Jackal, you lose. This one gives you Summon Sork, uh, Rusty giving you zones back, Triple Negate, and two cards in hand, which you're going to get from Orchestrate Return, which gives you uh, yeah, a level 7 and a Destruo for next turn. Like, no matter what, you're always going to have negates up, no matter what. Ogre, like, th there's never going to be a hand where you don't have at least 3 plus negate, 3, 4 negate, no matter the hand trap. Ogre hurt there a lot. Pendulums can't play with 3 cards, but we did anyways. Now, test hand number 5. All of these in a row, by the way. None of these are cut. The only time I stopped is uh, not, it was in the middle of a duel with the exact same hand, just to talk about it, because that game 1 was incredible. But again, Ogre here. Our Ogre, our Electro's going to get ogre uh, most people end their turn with like a, a one negate or maybe two after that. But I'm showing you guys right now. There's a reason why people people say Ogre is incredible against Pendulum. It's really not. No hand traps good against Pendulum except Gamma, which no one plays Gamma anyways. Electrum's gonna send our boy Harmonizing or Girl, whatever, uh, and Oaf is gonna simply add it back. Now look at the situation here. If you were playing normal Pendulums, what would you do in this situation? What would you do in this situation? You would literally end on one absolute dragon, Vortex Pass. You'd end on one Vortex Dragon and pass. That's what normal Pendulums are doing in this situation. This ain't no normal Pendulums. This ain't no normal Pendulums. We're not going a Vortex Pass. Let me show you guys what, what we're going to be doing. We're going to be going into Underclock. We're going to be going Absolute. Then into our boy Unicorn. Vortex, Mermaid, boom, Shakalaka. Look at that now. You don't just go Vortex Pass. You go on a lot more than just Vortex Pass. You end up going on 
multiple negates with the follow-ups. So follow-ups is the most important. That version ended with zero follow-up for you. But this is going to give you Rusty giving you zones. Because after Rusty dies, Fog Blades are going to bring it back. Which is also why you need to play Fog Blades over the rank up suck. I'm telling you, too easy to side against. And yeah, you got two free draws as well. You got a summon sword. Look at the like through the gold sword, you're gonna have two free cards. Oh, I didn't shuffle this. We're gonna shuffle. They're gonna draw two. Boom. So you have two follow, you have two cards in your hand. You got the Orcas coming back. You got Rusty giving you link zones. It's simply incredible. It gives you absolutely everything. I know. Incredible. I know. The best follow-ups. It doesn't just give you the best defense, multiple, multiple negates through any hand trap. It also gives you the best offense because it gives you most of the time a free summon sork. The whole Orcus engine recycling itself for more offense on your turn. Fog Blades bringing back Rusty for Link Zones for you to summon to. You get to draw two cards. Those are four, five extra bonuses that are all plus ones on your turn after the stopping them from doing anything to your board from all, multiple negates, which if you play normal versions, all those hands were one negate, not three or four. This, ha this video right here, if you have a brain, would really open your eyes to playing Orcus Pendulum versus Normal Pendulum. This is the best version by a landslide. We drew Orcus multiple times in this. We drew a Fog Blade and an Orcus Nightmare and a we got Valor. If those two were any Pendulums, you're ending on um, two negates maximum. Uh, but we ended up on three negates with those bricks, the bad, bad, bad hands through the Valor. And three negates while your opponent has five cards, you lose. Uh, what decks play Salamagra? What Salamagra is the only decks that play hand traps, right? They can't play through one negate, let alone three. So let alone four with five cards. Like, and if you don't get interrupted, you're putting up six negates. So this deck's absolutely insane. I think uh, it speaks for itself. Honestly, it's absolutely incredible. If this doesn't open your mind about Workers Pendulum, nothing will. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. Hope you guys like this video. Check out the beautiful trip game playing in the description below. We'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace.